Hello friends, this video on visualizing shapes part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are introduction, two dimensional figures, three dimensional shapes, mapping space around us, faces, edges and vertices, polyhedrons, regular and irregular polyhedrons, concave and convex polyhedrons and Euler's formula. In visualizing solid shapes, what are those shapes which we are referring to solid shapes and why are we going to talk about them? That's because in basic geometry, we learned about the basic shapes like a circle, rectangle, square, rhombus. So here we will talk about the objects that we actually see around us, maybe a table. So when you look at this table, what are those parameters or what are those values which actually define the size of the table like how big the table is or what are those values which you need to you know kind of uh, specify or to identify this table so we generally talk about the length of the table we talk about the breadth of the table or the width of the table and also the height of the table so as these three parameters keep changing, the appearance or the size of your table also keeps changing. Think of a room. So how do you describe someone that how big is your room? So for that again, you describe the length of the room, the width of the room, and finally the height of the room. Or you think of a car. So if you look at these examples, a table, a car, a room. So these are the things that we actually see around us. They are not just theoretical figures. They are the figures which are actually present around us. So in case of a car also, you talk about the length of the car. You talk about the breadth of the car. And you also talk about the height of the car. Similarly for a house, you have length, you have breadth and you also have height. So what's happening? What am I trying to tell you with all these examples? So most of these objects, they are solid objects, a table, a chair, a house, a car. And these solid objects, they generally need three parameters to specify their size. So what are those three parameters? As in these examples, they are length, breadth and height. So these kind of objects are referred to as three dimensional objects or in short we call them 3D objects because we need three parameters to describe them completely. So in this lesson we are going to analyze many more such shapes, learn how to uh, kind of draw them and uh, how do we do mapping with these kind of objects. So we are basically going to devote time understanding more about these kind of three dimensional objects. So you have learned about the basic of 3D objects in your previous class, but we will still do a very quick recap of what are three dimensional objects. So when we compare two dimensional objects with three dimensional objects, how do they differ? So two dimensional, the name itself speaks for itself that it needs two dimensions that is length and breadth for describing itself completely. So that's a two dimensional object. The best example would be the example of a playing card. So when you look at a playing card, if I ask you what is the size of the playing card, all that you would need is the length of the card and the breadth of the card. That's it. That would give me an idea about how big the card is. Whereas when we talk about a three dimensional shape, it, has, it must have three different dimensions, that is length, breadth, as well as height. Now, let me do this. You think that you have many such playing cards. So with all those playing cards, you have kind of built a tower. So when you look at this tower, this tower is no more a two-dimensional shape. That's because if I ask you to describe the size of the tower, you need the length of the tower. You also need the width of the tower, which is this and you also need the height of the tower. So now you need three parameters to describe the size of the tower. So you see that the playing card which was two dimensional, many such two dimensional playing cards together can form an object which is three dimensional like this tower. So this is how a two dimensional and a three dimensional object differ from each other. 
So let us quickly look at some examples of two dimensional figures, rectangle, circle, triangle, square, pentagon. So these the polygons basically here, rectangle, triangle, square, pentagon, they are all polygons, circle. So these are all two dimensional figures. So if you look at them, you can describe them completely with just two dimensions. Right now, another interesting way of identifying which is a two dimensional object and which is a three dimensional object is any two dimension shape, you should be able to draw it on a sheet of paper because paper itself is two dimensional. Paper has length and breadth, no height as such, right? So anything that you can draw on a sheet of paper, that's a two dimensional object. Now that doesn't mean that you cannot draw three dimensional figures on a sheet of paper. You can draw them as well, but for that you need uh, a different technique to draw the three dimensional figure. So basically what I mean is, let's say that you have an object, okay? Now, an object like a ball. So how do you know if it is two dimensional or three dimensional? Place that ball on a sheet of paper. What do you see? Does the ball lie along the sheet of the paper? Or do you see the ball standing protrudely or standing out from the sheet of paper? Of course, the second one is true. You see the ball coming out from the sheet of paper. It is not lying along the sheet of the paper. So this proves that the ball is a three-dimensional figure. Right? So the ball is not a circle because circle is a three-dimensional uh, three dimensional shape. So if you cut a sheet of paper in the shape of a circle, that's a circle because when you place that uh, circle on another sheet of paper, it lies along the sheet of the paper. But the ball, what is that ball? It is a three-dimensional figure. It is basically a sphere. So when we talk about three-dimensional figures, you can think of uh, figures like a sphere, a cone, cube, or a cuboid. Cone, the best example is the cone of your ice cream. Place it on a sheet of paper. You can see that it is standing out from the sheet of paper. And it is standing out because of the presence of that extra third dimension. Think of a cube, maybe uh, the dice of your Ludo, that's a cube, a cuboid, maybe the matchbox, that's a cuboid. So you get to see all these three dimensional shapes in the objects around you. So maybe you can have a look at them, analyze them to see that, okay, they have three different dimensions for their description. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.